session is to check in on her because Atten uh, thinks she might be hiding uh, hiding the pain. Speaking of Atten, as we unpause it, we're going to talk with him first. Look, uh, not like I care or anything, but you might want to go check on our passenger, especially with that hand of hers. Yes, yes. I'll go and check on her. But just, uh, Sticking in an extra jibe at the end, saying, uh, Can you handle things up here? Not t totally incapable, are you? We're on autopilot until we hit Telos. Until then, a droid could fly this thing. Besides, I think our passenger could use your help. So, as we said last time, we will check on her. Oh, light side points again. Oh dear. <laughs> Showing a slightly more caring side, Mr. Atten, behind all the sarcastic comments. Uh, we'll check on Kraya a bit later. We'll just take a wee look around the ship, make sure there's uh, nothing that we can make. Oh! A little droid companion! Don't go away here! Uh, e -d yes, I'll take a spike while you're here. Any need for such a long spiel? Just give me the spike, will you? Can you make any more? Okay, I'll carry on talking. Uh, upgrading an item, that sounds like an interesting thing. Oh, he doubles up as a workbench, does he? Well, blow me sideways. Um, yeah, he looks like he doubles as a as a workbench. <laughs> Handy little uh, little thing, that isn't it? Right. Um, we have the minor uniform equipped, so uh, we did install the biorestorative underlay Mark One, which gives us an extra plus one to gener uh, regeneration. But we now have another slot where we can put something else on. Sound dampening overlay mark 1 for da damage immunity versus uh, sonic, 10% bonus. Bludgeoning, piercing and slashing ballistic shielding mark 1 or heat shielding mark 2. I think the ballistic shielding is, is uh, the best option here, giving us uh, some immunity when we're going up close and hacking and slashing. So I think I'll put that on for now. Is that, in, is that installed? Can I install this? Oh, maybe it's greyed out actually, maybe I can't. I don't know why. Strange. I can't install any of those. For whatever reason, I know not. See if we can upgrade our Vibro Sword. We can actually upgrade our Vibro Sword. So, what can we stick in it? We can put on a Zabrak Grip, giving us a plus one to attack, minus one to defense. What's this? We can put an extra edge on it, or maybe change the, ed uh, the edge. Upgrade, basic Ionite Edge, one iron damage, which is obviously bonus against droids, or bonus one to three but slashing basic neutronium neutronium edge I think we'll go for that one see if we can inst it's not grayed out nope we can install that one and we'll put the grip on a little bit less defense but better attack and we have no energy cells so we've upgraded our vibro sword and we've upgraded our well we haven't upgraded our armor because we couldn't but uh, uh, disrupt 
to arrive for. I don't know who has that. Obviously we can put sights and things on, but uh, I'll leave that off for now. Or maybe we... I can't remember what Atten has, but... Fine. Thank you, my little droid friend. You've been such a great help. Look at him zooming off, eh? Anyway. Security system. What the hell is this? Camera controls. It seems to be just a whole host of cameras. Well, I don't think we can spend all day looking at camera screens when we can visit the individual areas of the ship in person. Right, where are we? There's a couple of doors. I think we'll uh, go to the left here. What's that door possibly? It looks like a storage compartment. Anything of interest? Well, well, well. What do we have here, you might ask? Damaged HK unit. The remains. But older and more corroded than the one you encountered on Paragus. Its power core still carries a charge, but a number of critical parts appear to be missing. See if we can diagnose what's, what's wrong with it. It's, oh. it's missing four critical components. A droid processor, a replacement droid chassis, the control cluster that's supposed to be stored in the chassis, and its vocabulator. Take the vocabulator and insert it into the... Do I have one of them? I must do. I have installed the droid's vocabulator. Now step away. Journal entry. Rebuild HK-47. Mm. <laughs> Remember him from the first game? I assume it's the same droid. So we've installed the vocabulator. So all we need to find out is the droid processor, the droid chassis, and a control cluster. Now I assume those things are scattered about the universe and not just simply cooped up here on the ship, but I could be wrong. So we'll keep our eyes open whilst we're pottering about here. So, we were turning left, we came out of there, there's nothing in here I don't think which we can make use of, so we'll turn left and carry on going down here. Uh, we have exit ramp and we have the garage and workbench. Now, obviously we're not going to exit in the middle of the... In the middle of flight. Here we have the uh, garage and a workbench. Of course, T3 and 4 doubled up as a workbench. But we can use this one to create or break down items, which is something that I haven't really tampered with. We can make some armor. What is this? This is creating items. Now, we have. 80 components. So we can make a whole host of things. So as you can see, certain certain things require require different uh, skill sets to create. So uh, strengthening underlay, Mark One. I think we have this one already installed. The bio restorative. Would we be better off with an extra bit of strength? We create this for three components and then install this instead of the. Uh, try it. Just have a bit of a play, really. So we create one of them. Uh, so that's the armor thing. Um, melee upgrade. So these are all upgrades to your to your armors and weapons. It looks like we can create from these uh, from these uh, workbenches. Upgrades for our lightsaber, which we don't have, so we won't do that yet. And then some other things like computer spikes and repair parts and things, but it uh, looks like I can't because my repair and security skill is just dire, so uh, alright, so if we use it to upgrade our item, let's see if we can swap our armor upgrade from bio restorative to strengthening, and no we can't even do that. And armor of high quality. Ah, you see, there's different. Oh, okay, I didn't realize this. It appears.
is there is different for different types of armor with maybe different quality types and maybe certain upgrades can only be used on high quality armor I, I don't know maybe somebody could confirm that for me but uh, as it stands I can't do much with uh, with that upgrade I just made okay so there's nobody in here by the looks of it so we shall continue to explore the ship Station, another one of those things that you can use to create things. So we'll have a. Oh, yes, breaking down as well. Breaking down items, something which we could also do. Uh, use lab station. Okay, so we can start looking at some health upgrades, antidotes. How many do we have? We have one. Chemical cost 24. It's quite a lot, isn't it? Uh, I think we'll create one though, having two just in case things go awry. We have plenty of med packs. Retinal combat implant gives us a plus one to awareness. An immunity to critical hits. We have battle stimulants, but we have plenty of these. I think in my inventory I do recall having quite a few. Uh, mines and grenades. Of course we can start breaking things down as well, if we have too many. So say we have a... a a barrage of certain like med packs. We have tons of med packs. Maybe we get some chemicals out of them if we need them. But we have plenty of chemicals for now, so there's no need to break anything down just yet. Uh, right, continue on then. So, uh, we've been in a garage, medical, main hall, straight ahead. Some more sideways movements. This is the hyper drive or something the core now fixed this should be the cargo hold yes indeed nothing of note in here where the hell is crash hiding somewhere in the deepest darkest bowels of the ship uh, we could go down here which probably this is the only place left really so if she's not here then I don't know where she is there she is sitting meditating <clears throat> you come for more answers. There is little more left to give. No, I've actually come to uh, to to say that when you lost your hand, yes, I uh, I had a I had a strange sensation as if I well, I did. I felt it as well. That does not surprise me any more than you hearing my thoughts when we were apart. The pain, however, was unexpected. If I could, I would have shielded you from it. Oh, don't worry, don't worry. I don't need shielding from pain. I don't mind a bit of pain every now and then. Yeah, but what, out of interest, uh, what would have happened if you had died? <laughs> would I have kicked the bucket as well? I do not know. I fear that the consequences would have been more extreme. Hmm. More extreme. Death, you mean? Possibly, yes, and I fear it works both ways. I would not wish to test it, nor should you. <sighs> Don't think uh, Shala likes the fact that uh, she might die if this old biddy dies. <laughs> hmm. Strange. Okay. Yes, I think she might just think that this link is a threat. I think, yeah. Overlooking the fact that it could be a help in certain circumstances, I think the, the, the fact that uh, she could die and it won't, you know, out of and it's out of her own control, I think is it's not good. If you think a connection to one such as yourself gives me any comfort, then you would be wrong. I desire this no more than you do. But well, then what it do we do? That at times of stress and pain, if they catch us unawares, then the pain is transmitted between us. How could this have happened? I confess its nature eludes me as well, but the bond is strong and its roots run deep. It seems the force flows easily between us. 
when one of us manipulates the force to heal or strengthen ourselves, the other is aided as well. So apparently, Kraya and Shala possess the Force Chain's special ability. So when either of you use the Force power on yourself, the other gains a benefit as well. A powerful technique indeed, though, as we have noticed, it has its drawbacks. 